got a fantastic feature for you today. It's that time of year and the speckle trout bite is on. It is really hot. We're going to be heading down to North Carolina and fish the Pamlico Sound area. Today's special guest is Michael Collins with Tideline Boats. Now, Mike considers himself, well, he's a real enthusiast when it comes to speckled trout fishing. As well he should be, because he's really got it down. That whole cast retrieve, that special little twitch he does, you know, he catches 10, 10 to my maybe one. Uh, but anyway, he's really got it down. And uh, today we're going to be showing you some great tackle tips for speckled trout and also how to fillet them and cook them. Let's go! Yeah, that's, you're right, small. Another throwback. Got to wade through the little ones sometimes. That's we'll right. The bigger ones. <laughs> there he goes. Michael, watch that. Yeah, yeah, he's, go back and get bigger. Yeah. Get you a few years. Uh, you show us on the Samira Lore exactly your retrieve pattern. I, I don't think I've quite got the hang of it. <laughs> Well, there's a couple uh, things first is when I rig it, I always make sure I tie a loop knot in there so it gets a little bit more action that way. Right. Um, lets it move on the line a little bit better. Uh, but basically all I'm doing is uh, when I'm throwing the line out, obviously farther than that, but yes. I'm just twitching it a couple times right. and then just letting it dead stick. But you've got to make sure you're staying in contact with it to where you, because you'll just feel the smallest little tap and that's, that's them. Um, but you... They will almost always hit it when it's sitting still. All right, hit that again. Throw that out. And yeah. Let's let's so, get that so pattern again. Is just twitch it a couple times. Couple of twitches. Yep. Just let it dead stick. You just want it to be all you want it is just suspending or slowly sinking at that point. Okay. Um, but you got to just make sure you've got contact with it to where you'll feel that tap. And that's that's the pattern. And that's it. Okay. Yep. And since I haven't been doing that, and you didn't put a loop knot on mine, I'm not catching fish. There's a loop knot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the colder the water gets, the longer that pause needs to be. Right now, the water's not real cold yet, so two to five seconds is fine. Once the water gets down into the 50, sometimes you're letting it sit 10 or 15 seconds before right. you twitch it. Awesome. What's up, Michael? I am. I'll we'll see if I can get this one actually to the boat. <laughs> actually to the boat? You don't want to release him like the other? Yeah. There you go. Back here where I can get my net. Yep, you might have a 
Nice little speck there. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's what we came for. Well, we can probably eat dinner. <laughs> We woke up the dogs. Hit on a yellow mirror. Yeah, a purple and chartreuse, purple MR17. Chartreuse. And we're only in four feet of water. Yeah, they're up here pretty shallow right now. I think the water's still pretty warm for this time of year, so they're not really hiding in the deep water yet. Okay. Good deal. Excellent. Take a look at him. He's, he's that one's there. going in the cooler. Going in the cooler. All right. Yeah, this one's a little better, isn't it? Yeah, this is a keeper. We're getting some nicer quality fish now. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh. Whoa! About got away. There we go. He is yeah, lively. Fish. Not bad at all. Way to go. Appreciate it. Okay, right. he's uh, I think he's a throwback. Yeah, keep... he's a little closer, but nice fish. I still usually wait for him to be a little bit Pretty. bigger before I would keep him. There he goes. Pretty fish, though. Pretty fish, please. There he goes. Go, my! <laughs> That's sort of the big one we've been, really big one we've been looking for today, yeah. isn't it? You kind of got to wade through some of these sometimes, yeah. but man, this is a pretty fish. Wow! Get him unhooked without hooking myself, and I'll be happy. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. We got him! Wow! Yeah, good That's, fish. That's a really good fish. Really good. About 22 inches, probably. A little over three pounds. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. And we're gonna go measure him. Oh, oh yeah. Barely fits in there. Oh wow. Good fish. Okay, the way to fillet speckled trout. What do you think, Michael? Huh? It's a big one, so we it's ought to pretty get a pretty good fillet here. All right, I'm not the fastest the right guy in the world, but I'll take my time and make sure I get a good amount of meat off of it. Um, after you make a cut up here, right up towards the top of his head, you're just going to follow the spine right below the fins. Mm -hmm. So far, it sort of looks like the traditional way to. That's correct. Neatly yeah, there's nothing fillet. crazy about it. Just follow it all the way back. And then once you've got it back there. Let's go right on down the mm -hmm. bone. And the only tricky part really with them at all is just trying not to get the rib bones in the fillet right um, you can do it one of two ways you can go ahead and cut through the rib bones and then cut them out of the fillet afterwards or you can kind of follow the rib bones right here just not ever have them in the fillet right now uh speckled trout is is delicious now we we kept four and released a ton today uh we were talking earlier uh tell everybody what is what's your favorite way to uh fix up the speckled trout 
Well, I mean, there, you, you, you'll never be frying them, so uh, you know, that, that's great. But if you're trying, if you're trying to maybe be healthier or something like that, broiling them's great with some lemon and butter, a little Parmesan cheese. Uh, a lot of people blacken them on a grill; they're really good that way. Sure. Any way you can fix a puppy drum or redfish, you can fix a trout the same way. Okay, okay. Not really because it's so fresh and so good. You don't want to do he no heavy cream sauces or anything. Right. Like Maybe if you were pulling some out of being frozen, sure. You know, then that make, starts making sense. But usually when they're fresh like this, I want them as simple as I can. Now you're going to skin it. You're going to back I am. skin it. So what I'll do here is when I skin, all I do is I come back here at the tail. And a trick somebody told me mm -hmm. is instead of trying to push the knife through there, yeah, get it down low and just pull the skin to the knife. That's correct. That's the right way to do it. That's our way of doing it, and it works. It, it's, it's so much easier. And there you okay. go. Yep. Very good. And that beautiful, beautiful fillet. Great fillet. Boneless, ready to go. Gorgeous. Fresh. Just caught a couple hours ago. Ready to go. Yep. We're gonna eat it for dinner tonight. Very good. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Jim. Catching the last few for the night. Right up till dark. Been a good day. This one's gonna go back. Pretty fish, but well, we've got oh, a, yeah. a good cooler, so we're gonna oh, go ahead and yeah. let this one go. Let's go. go. Pretty fish. Wow. This is Jim's fish. That's Maybe beautiful. One of the bigger fish of the day. That is beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah.